Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 15 of my favorite things from 2015. I also have two new videos up recently that have been very requested, my room tour and my Christmas haul, so I know lots and lots and lots of people have been asking me to do those, so they will be linked down below, or if you're watching on a computer, you can click the annotations right here and it will take you straight to those videos. Also, everything that I show in this video will be linked down below, so if you see something that you like or that you'd be interested in buying, just click one of the links and it'll take you directly to the website. 2015 went by so fast, like honestly, I feel like it should be like late October right now. What is it, like the 28th or 29th, like that's crazy. And honestly, this year has been such a good year, I've met so many new people. The channel has just started to grow a lot more and I really just recognize some of my passions and have become so much happier this year and it's all thanks to you guys. So I just wanted to give a huge thank you for being so supportive and kind. Your, all of your words mean like so, so much to me and I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you. So I just wanted to give a quick thank you before I get started in the video. I want to start off with a sort of like honorable mention and that is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I got this last Christmas for myself. It actually arrived on Christmas Eve, so I've had it for like almost exactly a year. I was going to show it in this video, but yesterday it broke. Um, usually it has this, where is it? I think. Usually it has this little clip on there that you like attach to it and then you put your keys on and yesterday I was carrying my keys and everything fell off and I was like, what on earth is this? So, and the thing about this is this is one of like the few like genuine Louis Vuitton items that I actually have. A lot of my stuff is replicas and the only thing that is ever broken on me is the one that is genuine. So, thanks to Louis Vuitton, I think I'm going to send it back. I think they'll like repair it for you if you send it back, but that's just kind of frustrating. So, yeah, I'm not saying like don't buy it. It's still a very, very useful thing to keep like your cards and your ID in. Now I'm going to get into the actual things and I guess I'm going to start off with sort of like beauty and accessories. And these aren't in like order of like number one favorite to like least favorite. Um, but the first thing are my sunglasses. You guys know that I've just been absolutely obsessed with sunglasses this summer, fall, winter, spring. Love sunglasses. My favorite pair so far are just my classic um, green lenses and gold aviators from Ray-Ban. I just absolutely love them. They're perfect. I also have a mirrored pair that I really, really like as well. And then my Club Masters from Urban Outfitters. I really like these too. They kind of give more like a boho feel. Both of these are very classic. Um, I kind of want to get like a Ray-Ban pair because these are getting a bit worn out. Um, these have actually been very, very durable for a pair of sunglasses that are just $20. Next I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This has changed my life. If you guys were subscribed at the very beginning of the year, you probably noticed that my eyebrows were not in good shape. Um, but filling them in has been so easy. On this side, there is a, like a pencil, and so it's so small, like precise, that you can really like draw in like each individual hair if you wanted to. And on the other side, there's a spoolie brush, which is just great. Um, just to, like brush them out and get them in shape. So I highly recommend this. I am in the color soft brown, and again, it will be linked down below if you want to buy it. Then I have my Batiste or Batiste, however you say that, dry shampoo. I only have like a small bottle currently. I really need to buy more. This has also changed my life. I just, I love this so much. This is in the scent Floral and Fruity Blush. This is my favorite scent and it soaks into your hair like so fast. It's all dry shampoo will leave like that white baby powder residue, but some of them like are so hard to get out and you have to like completely just like mess up your hair to get it. This like doesn't really leave much of that at all and if it does you just kind of like barely brush it away and it's so cheap i think like a full bottle is like eight dollars and like this one is like 350 like i've tried some dry shampoos that are literally 25 dollars and are like nowhere near as good as this the next thing that i have is a mascara and one of my favorite like quotes is mascara is a girl's best friend and i definitely agree with that especially for someone who has pretty small eyes like me it definitely like opens them up and makes you look a lot more awake and beautiful this is the dior show iconic over curl mascara i absolutely love it this is like the third one that i bought this year um it has a curled wand which is really cool it's not curled but it has like a curved wand and natural bristles 
I definitely am a fan of mascaras that have like natural bristles as opposed to synthetic ones. I feel like they do a lot better job like volumizing and lengthening. I definitely highly recommend this. I absolutely just love it. Then I have yet another hair product. This is my Organics Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco. And this is so, so nice for if you have dry hair like me. It like makes it so soft and so silky and shiny and unfrizzy. It also doesn't make your hair look like nasty and greasy. This is like absolutely amazing. I love this so much. Then I have one accessory and that is my Marc Jacobs Amy watch in rose gold. I think it's such like a girly looking watch, especially in rose gold. I love how it has a white face. It looks so nice with like other bracelets and stuff. I feel like my Michael Kors watch is a bit too chunky to try to layer, but this one looks so nice with like dainty bracelets and stuff and it is so chic. Then I have two pairs of shoes, the first pair being these from Steve Madden. I forgot exactly what they're called, but they will be linked down below if they still have them on their website. I wore these literally every day throughout the summer. They are the most comfortable and they're so cute. They're just like a classic like Jesus sandal. I went to Europe this summer, I packed like four pairs of shoes and I think I ended up pretty much only wearing these. Like they were great. Like, these are so great for like walking through the city every day. Like my feet like did not hurt at all. Like I have no complaints from these. They are amazing and they hold up so well. Like mine don't even look that worn and I wore them probably like almost every single day. Next, I have my black booties from ASOS. I do, I love these as well. I love how they have like the elastic. It gives them a very equestrian feel. They look almost identical to like full-blown equestrian boots. I also love the heel height. They are like not too high, not too short. So, so, so comfy. The leather is like such good quality and they will be linked down below as well. And they match like every single outfit that I wear and they're just Great. My next favorite is my Madewell tote. I got this I think maybe like June or July and I've been using it like crazy. I had my initials um, in gold foil on the front which I think looks really nice and this just literally carries everything. I use it as like a shopping tote, I use it as a purse, I use it as a travel bag. It's so great for like any sort of use that you need a big bag for and it's so durable. It's literally just like a leather sack. Um, so you don't have to worry about it getting like scuffed or anything, you don't have to polish it, it's just so great and it looks so cute with like all of my outfits. Now I'm going to move on to my favorite clothes from this year. First thing is this shirt from H&M, I got this back in February. I love polka dots but I was never able to find like an item of clothing that had polka dots that didn't look kind of like childish. Um, and this one has just small sort of painted dots, you can dress it up dress it down. I loved wearing it with my black floppy hat and red lips. I think that's such a chic look. Or you could wear it with like a green army jacket and booties and make it look like more boho. Like this literally goes for every single style. Speaking of green army jackets, my next favorite is my green army jacket from Old Navy. Um, I've seen some that are like so expensive, like I know some people have like barber ones, but this was like 20 bucks and it's done the job quite well. I feel like everyone and their mother has one of these and for good reason. They're so great, so comfortable, they keep you warm while looking cute, they're so stylish, they can literally go with everything. Like my go-to outfit if I don't know what to wear is usually like a striped shirt and this and jeans with booties and like I'm done. Then I have this swimsuit from Target. I wore this all throughout the summer. I love anything that's blue and white. This is white with these blue stripes and what I really like about it is it has straps. I wore like crazy during the summer on the boat. The last like clothing thing and also one of my like favorite things from this year are my ripped jeans. These have been so, so, so trendy. Definitely one of my favorite trends. These are from Zara. They will be linked down below, um, but I just love, like, they don't have, like, they don't have too much, like, distressing. They're just ripped in a few places, and they're super duper soft and comfy, and, like, they look good with everything. Like, why wear regular jeans when you could wear ripped jeans? Then I have two sort of random favorites. The first one is my Swell bottle. I got this, I think, like, August or something. Um, but it is so nice because you can put hot or cold liquids in it. So like a lot of mornings I will put hot tea in it and it will stay warm for like the entire school day, which is great. Cause like if I put, if I put tea in like a thermos or something, like it'll get cold in like a couple hours, which is annoying. I put like sweet tea in this, obviously I love my tea. You can even put coffee in it. It's 
just absolutely great. Um, one day I put iced coffee in here and like the ice didn't melt the entire day. Like this is amazing. And this one is so cute. It's got this kind of blue and white like e print on it. And I just love the shape. It's such like a snazzy photogenic shape. Last thing that I have to show you and my last favorite of 2015 is my volcano candle. I'm sure you have heard about these. It smells so so good. You can get them at Anthropology or um, I know they have them at Altered State. Lots of like little like home boutiques. Like they have them everywhere. I'll link it down below if you don't have any of those stores where you live. Um, it smells so good. It's very sweet, very fruity, very tropical, very very nice and I love the blue and white packaging. This is like the favorite, my favorite candle that I have ever bought. So that is all that I have to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also watch my last videos because I had so much fun filming and editing them for you guys. Also all of my social media will be linked down below so check it out if you want to follow my Instagram or my Tumblr or my Twitter. Um, they will all be linked down there. Love you guys. Bye!